Hey guys, um, today I got a MakerFire MKX220 Pro frame, and I haven't seen a lot about this frame online. I tried YouTubing it, and I found absolutely nothing, so I decided to make my own review so that y'all out there just have something to, you know, reference if you ever pick up this frame. So let's see what's inside the box. Comes with your instructions. Pretty simple. Comes with your hardware kits. Comes with your PDB. Light. And your frame all within a nice little packaging. Comes with some battery straps. Oh. Comes with two battery straps. And it comes with two packs of stickers. Hooray, who doesn't like stickers? Let's see what else. And nothing else. Okay, well, so here I got everything laid out for you. And, um, comes with its standard four arms bottom plate, top plate, side camera mounts, and these pieces over here are for a GoPro mount. This will go on top, these will go on the side, on the top of your frame. Your board cam camera mount comes with an LED with dip switches, and uh, Pretty nice. It doesn't look like it says the voltage or anything, but we'll just see what it says in the instructions. And after some further inspection on this, this is actually quite surprising. It doesn't say anything on Amazon about even coming with the power distribution board or the LEDs, but as I was looking at it, it has a little port here. It says OSD. So we have OSD as a place for your camera and for your VTX, your buzzer, your ESCs. This is all integrated, so it's going to make a really nice, clean build here where you put your power, ground signal for your ESCs. And on the bottom side, it has a little buzzer. So, that's pretty nice. Take a quick little look around here. It has your 5 volts here at the top, 12 volts here at the bottom. I'm actually quite impressed. Especially when they didn't even say it was coming with the frame. You have all your wires here too to connect to your PDB. And, um, that's about it. Seems pretty legit. This is the, uh, three millimeter size. I don't have calipers on hand, but it looks really well milled. I don't really see much as far as, like, their tooling goes. And I'm pretty surprised because... This frame company, or Maker Fire in general, I haven't really heard a lot about them. But this is the second frame that I've bought from them. My first one was a BB Bird 210. And it's performed quite well, and for the price that it was. I'm actually pretty surprised. Like, I mean, you can buy a really ridiculous, expensive frame. Like a QAV, or you know, an alien or something like that. And I, I mean, if you have the money, then by all means, buy it. It's worth it. But if you're like me and you don't have a lot of money because you buy all all your pieces yourself, like for 30 bucks, I got this on Amazon. And it comes with all this stuff. Like it has an OSD and a beeper on the PDB. Like just so essential for FPV these days. 
And, um, yeah, I can't wait to, uh, get this thing together and see what it looks like. Alright, so part way through this frame build, and as you can see, it's coming along quite nicely. Um, already a couple of things that I do and don't like about this frame. I do like the quality of the cuts they so far just handling them putting them all together all pretty smooth right out of the box um, some things that I don't like about it uh, the PDB is kinda of part of the frame which is okay by me but they give you aluminum screws that go through the power distribution board to hold it to the frame and I don't know that kinda of sketches me out a little bit you know, I like to live life on the wild side, but I'm not stupid, so we'll just see how long that lasts. And another thing is these side plates for your camera. I could not get mine to go in there. I don't know if you can see that, but the milling, or the position is way off. So they, they don't fit in there whatsoever. Um, the little tabs that go here are, I don't know, a good, they're a whole section off. And I've tried doing it this way and upside down and on the other side. They, they just don't fit in there. They're just completely cut wrong. So either I got the wrong side plates or they just don't fit. Okay, so here we have the frame fully assembled, and I gotta say, um, it's pretty awesome. Looks great. Um, it's a great X design, great feel, and uh, overall comes together quite easily. I really like the situation of the LEDs in the back. I personally don't really, I fly freestyle a lot, and um, don't really need LEDs, fly FPV, don't really need LEDs, but just nice to have those on there, they're dip switchable, you know, I would rather like some addressable LEDs, See, I use um, Betaflight, so, and I'm familiar with addressable LEDs, but these are pretty simple, uh, anybody can do it. Some things that I like about the frame, I really like the size, I love the X shape, I like the interchangeable arms, there's one thing I have the BB bird here and this, this frame's pretty beast, it's a great, great frame, great unibody shape, I've crashed this thing tons of times, I mean a ton of times, concrete, trees, dirt, um, into cars, you know, you name it, and I have yet to scratch the bottom plate, so good job, Maker Fire. Uh, the frame is sturdy as hell. Top plate, though, as you can see, I have that hot glued in there. Um, it was one of the reasons why I was on the search for a frame is because I had broke the GoPro mount frame up here, and... I didn't want to spend like the hundred something bucks for a new kit just so that I can get that piece. So I just hot glued that in there. Uh, it's still vibration free. I don't mind. And so that's why I got this bad boy. And it also comes with a mount up here. And I guess that brings me to some of the things that I don't like about it. Um, Let's see, they got these little notches up here. It's to hold, you know, your camera. But it's pretty much only for, like, Foxier or Mobius, like, Run Cam. Like, I don't have one of those. I got a bunch of GoPros. And so, trying to fit one on here is, I don't know. It's not too big, big of a problem, as I'll probably just modify it anyways. Just throw some foam in there to reduce vibration but still like you know it would have been nicer to just be more adaptable 
but not really that big of a problem. The side plates for the camera, yeah, they don't fit in there. I couldn't get it to work, but obviously not a big deal. Seeing as I didn't use them on my other frame anyways, like, don't really care about the, well, I do care about the aesthetic look of it, but this frame's been rebuilt like five or six, oh, fell apart on me. <laughs> seven times never use the side plates anyways so that won't be a big deal for me but you know just expect to either file these out yourself if you want the side plates or just don't worry about it like myself also came with this grommet here and um, I don't know you can put it in whatever hole you choose <laughs> And uh, I guess that's about it. Looks like a pretty great frame, and I'm pretty excited to uh, put it together and start flying it. Uh, this will be my first X frame, and if all goes according to plan, like maybe I'll drop the dough on a QAVR or an Alien, but for now, you know, Maker Fire has my business. It's $30 on Amazon, and I don't know. The other frame that I have is pretty awesome. So, only time will tell. Thank you.